Hi there, my name is Ryan and I'm going to show you how to build this awesome net worth tracker in Google Sheets. I really love this spreadsheet because it's a really nice place to organize all of the financial aspects of my life. It shows me a clear breakdown of my assets and liabilities. It tells me the last time I made an update and I think it's really fun to look at. So I'll walk you through exactly how to build it starting from scratch. So you can use it too. And if you really don't have the time to make it, that's okay. You can always get a copy for free via the link in the description. That being said, let's get started. So the first thing that we will do is set up the worksheet structure so that everything looks nice and polished at the end. Use your mouse to select column A, then hold control and also select column F. Then right click, resize columns, set the size to 50, and click OK. Next, select columns B and C, hold Control, also select columns G and H, right click, resize columns, set the size to 200, and click OK. Then select columns D and E, hold Control, also select columns I and J, right click, Resize columns, set the size to 150, and click OK. Then click here in this box, which is called the name box. Type in 1 through 1000 and press enter. This selects rows 1 through 1000 in your spreadsheet. And with these rows selected, right click on the row headers, select resize rows, set the size to 30, and click OK. Then click the fill color button here, set the color to light gray, then change the horizontal alignment to left and the vertical alignment to middle. Finally, turn off the grid lines by going to view, show, grid lines. Excellent. Now let's add some more color to the spreadsheet. Select cell B2 and change the fill color to light blue three. Select cell C2, reset the fill color. Select B4, set the fill color to light green 3. Select C4, reset the fill color. Select B6 through B10, set the fill color to light gray 1. Select C6 through D10, reset the fill color. Select B12 through E12, set the fill color to light green 3, and finally select B13 through E50, and reset the fill color. Awesome. Now let's add in some headings and categories. Start by selecting cell B2 and type in net worth. Then select B4 and type in assets. Select B6 and enter real estate, then bank accounts, investment accounts, cars, and other assets. Now, these are the categories that I like to use for organizing my assets, and assets are just things that add to your financial value. But if you want categories that are different, then all you have to do is change them here. Moving on, select cell B12, and type in category, then description, last updated, and amount. Awesome. Now we're going to make drop down menus for the category column. Select the range B13 through B50 and go to data, data validation. Click on add rule, select drop down from a range. Then for the range, select the categories in B6 through B10, then click OK. Click on Advanced Options and choose the display style of your choice. Personally, I like plain text because I think it looks the cleanest, but really it's up to you. And then once you're finished, click Done. You can now select categories from the drop down menu like so. And this is a good time to go ahead and enter in a few lines of sample data as well. 
This will help us validate our formulas are working here in a little bit. And once you have it, select the range D13 through D50 and click the More Formats button, which is the 1, 2, 3 that you see here. Select Custom Date and Time and pick a date format that you like. Now, if you don't see one that you like, you can always build your own. Just clear the contents in the box on top and use the down arrow to build your date format. Personally, I like to add the month, a space, the day, comma, space, and the year. Then once you have it, click apply. Next, select the range E12 through E50. Click the more formats button again and select the finance or accounting format. After that, change the horizontal alignment to right. Okay, looking good. Now we're going to add in some formulas. So start by selecting cell D6 and enter the formula equals sumif function B13 through B50 and then add a dollar sign before the 13 and before the 50. Move to the next argument, B6. Next argument, E13 through E50. Put a dollar sign before the 13 and a dollar sign before the 50. Then close parentheses and press enter. Now, if you live in a country that typically uses a comma as your decimal separator instead of a period, then your formula is going to look like this instead with semicolons instead of commas. Just something to be aware of. And if you're wondering what the formula does, it just adds together the numbers from the amount column that correspond with the selected category in the category column, and then it displays the number. And once you have it working, use the fill handle to copy the formula down to cell D10. Next, select the range D6 through D10, change the horizontal alignment to right, then click the More Formats button and select Accounting. Next, select cell C6 and enter this formula. Equals Sparkline function D6, next argument, open bracket, quote, chart type quote, comma, quote, bar, quote, semicolon, quote, max, quote, comma, max function, D dollar sign six, colon, D dollar sign 10, close parentheses, semicolon, quote, color one, quote, comma, quote, green, quote, close bracket, close parentheses, and press enter. And again, if you need the alternate version of the formula, then it looks like this. Either way, this formula uses the sparkline function to create a bar chart to display the number value in cell D6. And once you have it working, just use the fill handle to copy the formula down to cell C10. Finally, select cell C4 and enter this formula. Equals sum function E13 through E50, close parentheses and press enter. This formula simply gives you the total value of all your assets. Okie dokie. Now let's add in a few more formatting details to make it look really nice. Select B2 through C2, hold control, also select B4 through C4, B6 through B10, B12 through E12, and then bold the font. Then select B2 through C2, click the borders button, Change the color to dark gray 1 and click this to apply all borders. Then select B4 through C4, go to borders, all borders, select B6 through B10, borders, 
outer borders, select B12 through E50, borders, outer borders, select B12 through E12, borders, outer borders, select B13 through E50, borders, change the border color to light gray 2, then click this to apply inside borders. Awesome. From here, click in the name box and type in B2 through E50, press enter, then copy, select cell G2, and paste. Then change net worth to most recent update, change assets to liabilities, delete the sample data below, and then change the categories to real estate loans, credit card debts, student loans, car loans, and other liabilities. Now, liabilities are simply things that take away from your financial value. Typically, they're monetary contracts where you owe someone else money. And if you want different categories than the ones I have here, then you can just change them to whatever you want. Once you have, select cell G13 and go to data, data validation. Click on the data validation rule that's there. Then under apply to range, click this button here, delete the second range, click OK, and click done. Then select the range G13 through G50. And under data validation, click add rule, select drop down from a range, and for the range, select the liability categories in G6 through G10, then click OK, click advanced options, choose your favorite, and click on done. And now you can test everything by entering a few sample records like so. Okie dokie. All that's left is a bit more formatting and then the final two formulas. Start by selecting G12 through J12 and change the fill color to light red 3. Then select G4 and do the same thing there. Next, select cell H6 and in the formula, change green to the hex code hashtag CC0000. This is the hex code for a nice dark red, and once you have it, copy the formula down with the fill handle. Next, select H4, change the font color to dark red 1, select I6 through I10, change the font color to dark red 1, select D6 through D10, change the font color to dark green 2, Select C4, change the font color to dark green 2. Select H6 through I10, go to borders, change the border color to dark gray 1. Apply outer borders, select C6 through D10, borders, outer borders, then select row 1, hold control, also, select rows 3, 5, and 11. Then right-click, resize rows, set the size to 20, and click OK. Then select cell A12 and go to View, Freeze, up to row 12. Excellent. On to the last two formulas. Select cell C2 and enter the formula, equals C4 minus H4, and then change the font color to dark blue too. We use this formula because your net worth is simply the value of all your assets minus the value of all of your liabilities. That's all there is to it. And finally, select cell H4 and enter the formula equals max function D13 through D50. Next argument, I13 through I50, 
close parentheses, and press enter. Now, you might see a weird number because dates are just numbers in Google Sheets. And this formula is looking at all of the dates and returns the largest one, which just so happens to be the greatest number of all the dates. To fix the appearance, click the More Formats button here and select the custom date format that you created earlier. Then change the font color to dark blue too, and change the horizontal alignment to center. And just like that, you've got your net worth tracker ready to go for the rest of your life. How awesome is that? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon in the next Spreadsheet Life video. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tie the rope.